Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own wine labels. So all you're gonna need is a bottle of wine. So this is unopened and I'm not gonna take the sticker off cause we're just gonna slap the label right over it. Um, so all you need is a bottle of wine and some sticker paper. I'm gonna be using the anti tay sticker paper that I just love. I'll show you in just a second. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a birthday, cute little label for my friend's birthday. It's a little last minute because her birthday is tomorrow, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, so that's all you're going to need for this. And you'll just, oh, you'll need a printer and your Cricut, obviously. So I'll show you how to design the label and um, how to print it and then put it on your bottle. And I usually don't do intros, so I don't really know what else to do here. But, um, you know, 2019, trying to step it up a little bit for you guys. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit the little bell um, so you uh, get notified every time I post a new video. And that's it. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started making our wine label. So like I said, I'm just going to make a sticker and put it over the wine label I currently have. So I'm going to start out by making a rectangle shape. So I'm going to make a label from the front and the back for the front and the back. So the front label is going to be it's about 4 by 5 or so. So I'm going to change the Oh, design space is, they are just messing with me. They messed up, they changed all the colors. Okay, so the fill, how do we, okay. So I'm going to turn this white just so I can get an idea for what I'm doing here. And I'm going to start out with some text. So I'm just going to use one of my go-to um, fonts here. It's Magnolia Sky. So I'm gonna, this is for my friend's birthday, so I'm going to say happy, happy birthday, Karina. Okay, so I'm going to first center this, and with all of my, with like with, you know, any of my script text, I want to make sure all these letters touch. So I'm going to go over here and hit ungroup. And I'm just going to move all of these letters together. This is how I do it. You can also just minimize the letter space, but I just like this a little bit better. I have more control over it. So I'm just going to move all of these over. And I'm doing this because I think this is such a cute idea for a birthday gift. And if you have like a printer and are able to do print and cut, this is such an easy little. And, you know, of course I'll put together like an, a little more of a gift. This won't be the only thing, but this is just such a cute idea um, to do. So, all right, so we have our text. I'm going to just, oops, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. And of course, you can do whatever text you want. This is just what I'm going to do. And I'm going to duplicate this. Well, I'm going to weld this first. So welding it, again, this is just now it's one big thing of text. It's not all separate. I'm going to duplicate this so I can put it on the back as well. Or actually, no, I'm going to, I'll just duplicate this whole sticker. How about that? Okay, so... Now I'm going to just minimize this, shrink it a little bit so it fits on my sticker. And I'll play with the sizing a little bit too once I put my images on. So, okay, so I could not find anything in Design Space that I liked. So I'm going to go to my uploaded images and I have some um, flowers that I uploaded from. Um, design bundles right here, a bunch of these ones. So I'm just going to insert these and play around with them a little bit. And so if you don't know how to upload um, 
images. Just let me know if you want to see that and I can do a little tutorial on how to upload um, your own images to Design Space. So just let me know. I can help you out. So these are all kind of large, so it might just take a little while to load these. So we're just going to be patient. And so to make images smaller, all you need to do is go to here to unlock it. And once this lights up green, you can just shrink them down to whatever size you want. All right, so now I'm just going to play around with these, and I'm just going to do what I think looks pretty. So no right or wrong to this, and, you know, if you are... You can do whatever you want, whatever you think looks good. I'm not a graphic designer. My boyfriend is a graphic designer, but I am not. I just love how these watercolor flowers look. They're so pretty. So I'm just going, and you'll see once I, um, go to the actual camera. This is these are what I use to make my uh uh to make the um sticker I have on my my Cricut Air 2. So again, I'm just showing you guys how to kind of like make the sticker but if you so if you want to do some other things or if you have different ideas of for like images and stuff feel free to do whatever you want and this is just kind of like a cute idea that you can use <clears throat> And again, I got these um, on design bundles, these uh, watercolor flowers. What is this huge thing right here? It hasn't even loaded. All right, so I'm gonna scoot this over real quick. And the reason is, what is this? Is I'm going to attach all of these together. And so the reason I'm doing that is because I want these to, now how they have them, I want them to basically stick together. So now, those were all, you know, separate flowers. Now they're all one image. So now what I can do is I can duplicate it and I can turn it like this. So now I can put them in both corners of my sticker. So I'm going to put this one right here and then I'll move this one right here. So now I don't have to do that whole thing over again for this bottom corner. I can just use the exact same one. So now it looks all symmetrical and cute. All right, so I feel like these corners are also a little bare. So I think what I'll do, um, let's see. How would this look if I did this on all the corners? I don't... Actually, this like kind of looks like a wreath, so maybe that will look cute. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that looks cute. All right, so I like it. So I'm going to move these up a little bit. Kind of makes it look like a little wreath or something. So I'll just make this a little smaller. Cute. So now we have basically what we want to print on our sticker paper. Let's see if we can find a better color than this though. I don't know if I want black. Cute, I like that pink. So now that I have everything how I want on my sticker, what I wanna do is I wanna highlight everything because I want this all to again print like a sticker. I'm going to flatten the image My computer is very slow right now, so this is taking some time. And now you can see this is one image that is going to print out of my printer. So this will print out, and then my Cricut machine will cut this perfect, perfect um, rectangle out. And it'll just be a perfect sticker. So, like I said, I want to do the back side as well. So I'm going to duplicate this. And the back label is about three by four. So I'm just going to shrink this a little bit. So three by four. Oh, whoops, it's way over here. So we're going to stretch this out a little bit. My computer is so freaking slow right now. I cannot even stand it for one second. Okay. All right. So now we have our front sticker right here and we have our back sticker here. So now we can go well, there's something else on this. All right, so now we can go to make it. All right, so we are going to now send this to the printer. So I'm gonna be using this anti tay sticker paper. It's some of my favorite sticker paper, it's like my go-to. So I'm just gonna load it in sticker paper side up into my printer. And my printer type is um, linked below on Amazon, so feel free to check it out. And this will start printing. All right, so now we have our two labels here. So you can see that um, even though it printed, like it looks like it's one thing, I'm gonna put it on my Cricut and so each little rectangle will print out. So I'm just going to put this on my mat here. That is not very sticky at all. I need to clean these. And I'm just gonna stick, make sure it sticks to my mat. And my screen recording got like all crazy, but the setting I'm gonna use for this is copy paper, um, but with less pressure, so it just doesn't cut all the way through the sticker paper. So just FYI, copy paper, less pressure for the anti tay sticker paper. So I'm gonna stick this to my mat and load it. All right, so now that our settings are set, our maker button is blinking, so it's telling us we can load this. So I'm gonna load this to my mat, or load this in my machine, and hit cut. So 
So again, if you've seen any of my print then cut videos, it's checking out the registration mark so it knows where to cut it. Um, and if you're trying to do print then cut, don't forget you need to calibrate your machine first. Um, so basically what that is gonna do is it's gonna make sure that your Cricut is cutting your printed images accurately. So if you wanna see how to do that too, just leave me a comment and I'll make a video. So unload this. All right, so now we'll have our, we have our wine bottle here. And I'll just bring this down so you can see it a little bit better. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this off like a sticker. Okay. And I'm just gonna try and line this up as best as I can so I can cover the current label. It's kind of hard to do with it laying down, but. So I'm just going to stick this on. I'll do the middle first like I normally do. And I'm just going to kind of gently put it on the bottle. How cute does that look so freaking cute and she can keep this and it could be her birthday every day I mean basically it's ba it's basically gonna be her birthday until this wine bottle is empty so it's kind of perfect so now I'll do the back label all right I gotta stand up okay this one I did not make big enough but that's all right should have made this a teeny bit bigger sorry girl if you're watching this um all right so we're just gonna smooth that over and so now you have your little personalized wine bottle how cute does that look and you can do this on a champagne bottle you can do this on a white wine bottle if you're doing it on a white wine bottle i would just make sure that it's not chilled um, make sure it's room temperature so it doesn't condensate your sticker but other than that i mean how easy was this it took like maybe 15 maybe 15 minutes so um that's about it so if you have any questions leave me a comment don't forget to like and subscribe and cheers <laughs>